Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Today's show is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. By Quantum Rods and Reels. Fishing at a quantum level. And by Mercury Marine. Number one on the water. It's impossible to imagine anybody not liking to catch barracuda in the Florida Keys. These hardy fish always give it their all. They're easy to find and simply provide everything a fisherman's looking for in a great fun fishing trip. This week, Bill's teaming up with his good friends Bob Bagby, Vice President of Marketing for Zedco Quantum, and Rich Tudor, co-host of the popular TV show Saltwater Experience. Rich lives in this area, and when he's not out filming, he guides fishermen in his other avocation, saltwater experience outfitters. They'll be fishing out of Duck Key, located oceanside of US-1, also known as the Overseas Highway, at approximately mile marker 61. Now, we don't mean to suggest that kudas have quite the fighting stamina of, say, tarpon, but these beauties are super fast. They can reach speeds up to 40 miles an hour in as little as double their body length after hitting hard and running and leaping like you wouldn't believe. It can be said that barracudas are perfect predators all bundled up in a complete package. Thus the name of today's episode. They're zero marksmen that can hit and kill their targets at lightning speed. This explosive impact creates a solid rock jar and strike that often results in a breathtaking acrobatic display. Then they'll take off, burning 60 to 100 yards of line off your reel before you can make three turns of the handle. You guys ready to go? Yep. Here we go. Well, the weather's warm. So's the water. And the game plan for today is trolling live mullets to attract the feisty kudas. Let's climb aboard. What we're using, we're using 50 pound Grand Slam braid. And what you're doing here, you're running uh, uh, a 50-pound fluorocarbon leader. 50-pound fluorocarbon leader. Mm -hmm. And then you're tying that off to uh, number five wire leader. That's right. We're going now back. That's American Fishing Wire, number five yep. wire leader. You're putting a number four alt O'Shaughnessy hook mm -hmm. on that. And then on the end of that, you've got a number five treble. And that's the stinger. Make sure when those fish, uh, those barracudas come and try to cut that mullet in half, that those hooks are waiting for them there. Okay, so that's your stinger hook. Mm -hmm. So you got a four alt Domokatsu O'Shaughnessy hook, and then a number five uh, treble hook on the back. And when it's rigged, it looks something like this, basically. So you're hooking the uh, mullet through the mouth with this hook and through the tail with that hook, right? Yes, sir. So if he short strikes it, you get him with that. That's, and they're notorious right. for doing that, right? They like to, I think that's the way they naturally do it, is go right after the tail, cut the cut the tail off, and then come back and get the rest later. Woo! Awesome. Nice one, Bill. Well, I mean, he can cut out like a <laughs> late break, bro. Get your tip, tip down low so he didn't get into that motor. Very nice. There you go. You got him the right way. That, that's the way it's supposed to work, that little stinger got him. There he goes. See you, buddy. Nicely done. Good job, Bill. Bass Pro Shops. It's more than a store. 
It's great service from folks who know what they're talking about. It's a low price guarantee. And free events that are fun for the whole family. It's great brands from Coleman and North Face to Redhead and Ascend. Bass Pro Shops, for a great service, great prices, and the great outdoors all meet up. There's never been a better time to come to Bass Pro Shops than right now. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Orca Coolers. Simply the best cooler you can buy at any price, anywhere. Made in America and backed for a lifetime. Their teeth are just like razors, aren't they? Absolutely. You know, you think about those mullet. If you, if you were to try to chop a mullet in half with a knife, I mean, you'd have to really work at it because you have to cut through that backbone. A real and all sharp fillet knife. You'd... you'd have to work at it. It's not easy. And, yet, and they just go chomp. Instantly. And it's cut in half. You ever had yeah. one bite you? Yes. A little bit. Just a little nip, you know. Doesn't take much. A little nip. A little nip. <laughs> but if they, if they got a hold of your finger, I mean, I think they'd take it off just as clean as can be. All right, we're getting in a good spot here. You said they're killing machines? Killing machines. It's uh, sitting in these little edges of these, these um, flats waiting for something to drift by, and, and uh, they just sit and ambush and wait, wait, wait. And then when they get something come by, they shoot uh -oh, right uh -oh, out. Uh -oh, whack. Uh -oh, uh -oh, look here, look at here. Getting wet? Oh, oh, real, 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 real. There you go, Bill. There you go. Woo, what a fish. That's a big one there. Get over here. Good job. job. That didn't take long. Nice. They look good, good size. Good Saw a big hole in the water. Brother, he cut out. Like, who'd have thought it? Oh, that's a big one. That is a monster. You need to strip that line. That was a monster. Look at that thing. Man, that thing is huge. Oh, <laughs> well, look at it. It looks like a big that old... That is a big one, man. Silver. Stand back. He doesn't wow. take your finger up, Bob. Look at the size of that. Yeah, Ooh. that one's full grown. That's what we've been waiting for there. I believe we'll let you uh, handle that one. <laughs> look at him. Whoa! Whoa, jumping. you said jump. <laughs> that was off me too. He rolled even. I love to catch these things. I don't care. Now, now you seem to catch the, the, the biggest ones that I, I see. I like that new drag. Yeah. yeah. These reels are so smooth. These drags are smooth as country butter. I've said it before. Go ahead and walk up to the front there. Find him right off the front. He'll go that way. There he is. Hold him right there. Nice. That is a big one. Look that at is that. A toad. Look at that. That stinger's right in his mouth, and then the other, the other, the front hook got hooked on the side. Very, very cool. All right, I'm gonna try to grab him here without losing a finger or a hand. <laughs> okay. Grab the end without teeth. Yeah, well, actually, that's the sometimes the more dangerous spot. I'm hoping to get them right in the gill there. Let's see if I can get this one hook out right here. All right. Now he's controlled by the mouth. See, he, he did it just right. He got that stinger mm -hmm. right in his mouth. Look at those teeth. Woo! There's some big ones. I'm glad you're doing that. Yeah, Bill! That's a nice <laughs> fish, man. Good job. Woo! Wow. What do you think about that, Bob? Uh, that's uh, <laughs> one of the bigger specimens I've seen. <laughs> that's a killing machine there. Yes, sir. Wow. wow. Now push down that dorsal fin on top. Watch that dorsal fin. Here, Watch what? it goes little slot. See that little slot? Yeah. Like disappears. Wow. For total speed. 
Whew. That is a perfectly designed killing machine there. Mm -hmm. Built for speed. There he goes. Nice job, Bill. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's a good one. <laughs> Woo! Today's show is sponsored in part by Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Yamakatsu, world's finest hooks. Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Kamikatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. So you put the foil right in the front lip. Yep. And then the treble right in the tail. And the treble right in the tail. Bob, let yours out a little further. There was no messing around. What you got? Well, I got a little cuda. What do these barracudas do? Do they just roam these flats? You know, I think they're sitting. They're sitting in ambush, and they're sitting on the points or the the areas of this this, this uh, shallow bar, and just literally wait for something to swim by. And then when it does, they ambush it. They stay basically shallow. Uh, you know, they'll sit on the transition edges. Um, you can certainly catch kudas in all kinds of different depths, but right here, there's a shallow flat coming up to less than a foot of water, dropping off to about five feet, and they're sitting right on this edge, um, waiting for something to drift by. And of course, there's deeper water on out. Yep. So they just cruise along until they find an ambush point, like a point, a depression, a, yep. a little a little pocket or something. And mostly what they have here is, is an area that the tide is flowing around. So you know you've essentially got a backboard here, and that, that tide and the bait and everything in it is going to hit that and then flow around. So it uh, makes sense for them to, to sit on those points. That's why he's got those cat-like reflexes. There he is. Wrestling cooters. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Nice. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at them teethers. Toofers. Good job, Bob. That Thank one's you. got 40% fewer cavities. <laughs> nice job, Bob. Thank you. All right. Let's let them go. They are a mean looking fish. His eyes are just so predatory. Yeah, it looks like he, he wants to. big eyes, better to see you. Yeah, like it looks like he wants to bite your eyes. Look, right look how he blends right in with that mm -hmm. bottom. Can't even see him. Evidently, they're not too scared of a motor, are they? No, no, not really. I mean, if what it, are they scared of? Not much. <laughs> maybe, maybe a guy in a Tennessee hat. Sharks, sharks eat them. Seem like they could outrun a shark. Oh, he's already. He's after you. He's already going crazy. He's after you. I got one going crazy too. Come on! Oh, there he's jumping out of the water. He might have gotten it. There he is. Yeah, he got, got him. him. He greyhounded as he ate it. <laughs> <That was laughs> got him? Yep. All right. This one has got some shoulders. There he is. Nice Ooh. One. Mr. Pretty. And he seems angry. They, they, even a different coloration from the, the inch one there. Yeah. He's uh, the same coot as you know. You can, Catch them inshore, they turn real dark color on that grass. Yeah, he's real blue, silver mm -hmm. color. Yep. Well, we got the light color got the sand. Got again. <laughs> you barely got it. Right in the corner. That's Very perfect. nice, Mr. Bob. Lip, lip him up. 
Barracuda Man. Perfect. Other gill. He opens it for you. He won't open that one. We don't want to have to start calling you Mr. Eight Fingers. Nice. Wow. Wow. Pretty. Very cool. Nice. <laughs> These are all just beautiful color. Look at that spots. Look at those teeth. Yeah. Yee. Underrated as a game fish. That's one of my favorites. I grew up catching them when I was a kid. I love to catch them. Enjoy catching them now. Good job, right. Best Bagby. Put us on them. That didn't take long. Good little spot. Today's dance and lesson is sponsored by Bill Dance on Facebook. Like us on Facebook and join in the Bill Dance Facebook fun. Bill posts all the time, and you'll get more great fishing tips there, too. One of the highlights of my life has always been helping folks learn how to catch fish. And from looking at all the pictures, it looks like the action has been simply great. Fishermen everywhere are showing off their catch to owners of the Bill Dance app. What? You don't have a copy? Well, we can fix that. Simply download our free app on the iPhone, iPad, or Android mobile device and begin showing off your catch to anglers around the world. The fishing tips are free and so is the app. Bass Pro Shops, it's more than a store. It's great service from folks who know what they're talking about. It's a low price guarantee. And free events that are fun for the whole family. It's great brands from Coleman and North Face to Redhead and Ascend. Bass Pro Shops, for a great service, great prices, and the great outdoors all meet up. There's never been a better time to come to Bass Pro Shops than right now. Light smoke inshore and tougher than ever Cabo PT. Fishing at a quantum level. Today's show is sponsored in part by Grand Slam Mono and Braid. Big fish tough for when the money's on the line. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. Real fast, he's still got in there. Real, 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 real. Jam it in there, Bill. Double header. Wow. Double header, there you go. How cool is that? That one seems to be relatively large, too. <laughs> How perfect. Ooh wow. Wee, look at him take Oh, wow, up. jumping right at the lighthouse. Real fast, he's coming at you real fast. Swimming at you. I can't reel fast enough. That's a big hog. See that growth on uh -huh. it? Uh-huh. What is that on? Uh -huh. Here you come. Let's talk about the equipment that you brought for us to play with today. We've been using both the Boca and the Cabo. Well, like you said, that's the new, all new Boca for this year. This is the new Cabo. These products have been on the market for a while now, but this is all brand new, and you can see just visually by looking at them how totally different they are. A lot more skeletal in design, uh, lots of new features, but still features the indestructible nickel titanium bale, um, magnetic bale trip, all aluminum construction, beefed up gearing, beefed up anti-reverse system, totally sealed anti-reverse, you can see right here. Just a neat, neat product. Now, I noticed one thing about these reels. They're considerably lighter than the other, the past reels. A lot lighter weight, but we really focused on not giving up strength and, and really focused on the details. Let me, let me just show you one little subtle thing. See how those screw bosses right there are kind of relieved? Right. A lot of corrosion happens when a reel when water and salt water just sits in various places. When you store this reel, you can see how the water is going to drain away. You're talking about right in right here. Right in there instead of sit in those pockets. Right. And that's the kind of little minor things we thought about. Same with the rotor. Guys say, well, why would you open the rotor? That's so the water and stuff can drain out of there. But you can see this, this little blue part 
That anti reverse system is totally sealed. Ceramic drag system. Ceramic, carbon, and stainless washers in there. You can get 50 pounds of lockdown on this reel right here. That's looks a like, nice one, Matt. Looks like something tried to wow, eat him. Wow, how about that? What do you think tried to eat him? Wow. Well, that's a good one, Bob. Oh, my goodness. Who do you think's big enough to try wow, to eat him? Wow, I don't know, but here. I'm going to watch my fingers. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Good grief. Are you serious? I don't know if you should stick your digits down in that water. <laughs> Seriously, is there a giant shark or something? Or what's I don't on? know. It's something look like you tried to eat him. I got one right here that doesn't know what. Which, what what wow. he wants to do. Nicely done. I think I'm gonna get my toes out of the way. Look, Look at that. that. Look at that. Something did try to eat him. Look at that. Woo, How what about a fish. That? I mean, that's gotta be a shark, right? Look at that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let yours go back. There he goes. Team Quantum wins again. Nice. Nice. Yes. How about that? You got him with the front hook. Missed him with the stinger. He went to Cuba and then back to Tampa. Woo! I tell you one thing, they are built for speed, brother. How about that, huh? Boy, that is a nice long, fish. Long, smooth, slick, flat river rock. Now we've caught them. Uh, nice ones inshore, out here on the reef, lighthouse, all kinds of different stuff. <laughs> I'm telling you, buddy. What a variety! Yes. Unfortunately, we're hearing that often familiar signal that we're out of showtime for today. But there's not a chance that Bill, Rich, or Bob would even consider leaving right now. Can't say as I blame them, because the cootas sure haven't stopped biting. Thanks for fishing along with us today. And be sure to join us again right here next week for the conclusion of this fun trip in The Complete Package Part 2. Today's surfing email is sponsored by Mystic Lubricants. No matter the machine, Mystic's got a full line of products specifically formulated to dominate performance, conditions, and competition. Is a Portuguese man of war a jellyfish? A Portuguese man of war looks somewhat like a jellyfish, but it's not even a single animal. It's an animal made up of a colony of organisms that work together. Specifically, the man of war consists of four separate polyps. The top polyp is a gas-filled bladder that reminded people of the sails on a once common pirate ship called a man of war. Thus, the source of its name. Now for this week's Bill Dance Saltwater Travel Log. Duck Key is located in the Florida Keys, about an hour's drive north of Key West International Airport. We'd like to thank our good friends, Captain Rich Tudor of Saltwater Experience Outfitters, and also Bob Bagby with Zebco Quantum for their parts in today's show. Beautiful Gulf View Waterfront Resort generously provided our accommodations for this fun trip. Hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Today's show is sponsored in part by Orca Coolers, the all-American everywhere product, and by Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed captioning is provided by PowerPole, the original shallow water anchor. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater. Please join us right here again next week.